person, but you probably know that. My friend here is also just as great as I am, and we're here today to show you how to be great, or at least almost as great as we are. There's many ways in which we can show you how great we are. One of those is women. Women love us. And you know what? They can love you too. We're going to show you ways to become a better Kinko's co-worker. We're going to show you little tricks of the trade that you'll never know. We're also going to teach you about music. Yanni is the man. Yanni is a good person to listen to because he brings you inner stuff. Also, we're going to teach you about Boston. Boston is probably one of the greatest groups in the history of rock and roll, never making a bad song. We're also going to show you about groups such as KISS for the last 20 years have produced 25 albums. Later on, we'll be giving you a 1-900 number on how to reach us. But for right now, we're going to talk to some of the people and find out what they think about Roy and Glenn. They love us. Get a load of this. Hmm. Does this go here? You can never tell with these stupid Edgeworth jobs. They suck. Damn. <laughs> These show up like every two days. I mean, oh, sorry. Um, hi, uh, my name's Terry Funk. I'm an employee out at Kinko's, the Robinson Town Center store. And uh, basically, I'm uh, just uh, here working on this Edgeworth job. You know, they pop up like every two days and stuff, and they really suck. You know who doesn't suck, though? Roy and Glenn. Roy and Glenn. They're cool. I mean, they're just so awesome. I mean, to think like how much they help everybody out here at this store, it's amazing. I mean, they should have their own store. Yeah, the Roy and Glenn Kinko's store. And uh, for that matter, they should be running the country. Yes, Roy and Glenn, they're just like, they're just awesome. They're so cool. <laughs> Where's Spank Boy? Our little slave. He should be here. Ah, oh, there he is. Spank, you've come. Derek Anderson. Most folks call me Derek Anderson. And as you can see, I'm a complete loser. I really don't know why. I don't know whether it started at an early age, what happened. I used to get picked on a lot. And lately, women won't give me the time of day. I don't know why. An attractive guy like myself with tons of money to my, you know, to my bank account. I should have ladies crawling all over me. I, no matter what I do, I, I can't, I just can't seem to uh, get a date. But there is uh, something that saved me, and that is Roy and Glenn. But now, as you can see, I'm as cool as the Mac Daddy. Anything I do, women fall at my feet. And you want to know why? It's because of this, these, and this, which Roy personally did. And I'll tell you, I'm a whole new man. Got a full bank account, a nice new apartment. Heck, I even got a new car. So as you can see, Roy and Glenn saved me. And they can save you too. Here, slave. Ooh. I'm sorry, I'm going here. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Cool. 3.2 seconds. <laughs> See ya. Roy and Glenn, they're awesome. They're the best dang thing that ever happened to this store. Why, I don't know where we'd be without them. Roy and Glenn. They make every day worth living. Thank you. A oh, man without a tunnel.
never be too safe around here. Seven. 
Okay, um, well, all right, give me that then, okay? Color? Um, yeah, please. And I'm going to wait for those, okay? Uh, hold on, sir, sir, sir. Is that it? That, that's all, that's all. Are you sure? I'm not sure. Is this paperclip yours? I don't want it. All right, well, here's the scoop. Because I do like you and it's 110% customer satisfaction day, I got a deal for you. Damn it. why I come to Kinko's. This right here is our store card, our self-serve card. It operates those machines out there. Use it. I ain't doing this swap. I didn't even catch a word you said. Um, the machines out there do color? They do today. Good luck. I, I think. What a yo-yo. Oh. He's a mess up here. Gee. I can help you. Yeah, I'd like to get a color copy of this, sir. You know what? I we really can't do that because it's copyright material. Well, it's it's for my grandson. Um, no, you don't understand. Uh, we we can't copyright, okay? Or we can't copy because it's copyright right here. So we're in a lot of trouble with that. Yeah. That little circle with a C in it. Right, we can't copy it, okay? No. Okay? Well, he's really sick. Look, look, hello. See? No. What word didn't you understand? No. Hello. We can't copy it. Copyright laws. Hello. Hello. Uh, maybe one of the other co-workers... Are you trying to get me in trouble, huh? Uh, no, sir. You're trying to get me in trouble, aren't you? You want me to try to copy that for you. Are well, you? You're a cop, aren't you? You're coming in here. You're trying to arrest me. Aren't you? That's what you want to do. You better, why don't you just get out of here right now before I get really mad, okay? Just one? No! Ah! Hello? Could somebody help me, please? Hi, how you doing? Guys, I came in to get this job yesterday and I took it home and I should have looked at it yesterday to make sure it was right. I took it home and I brought it back in and it's all screwed up. So? Well, like, I need this job done, like, in a half hour. I need it fixed. <laughs> <laughs> but it has to be done. You guys have to do it. I need, like, you have to, like, run all these copies. I need, like, 50 cards laminated and trimmed. Yeah, my baby needs a new pair of shoes, too, buddy. But you gotta do it. You gotta do it. God damn it. Customer's always right. I want satisfaction. I want 120 Sir, sir, stop, stop. Sir, you, you obviously didn't read our name tag, did you? Oh my God, Roy and Clint? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, that's, uh, that's that's okay. You'll just take it just like this, I'm sure. Here you go. I'm sure everything will be all right. That's right, okay? Okay, I'll just now, like, get out of here, buddy. Okay, okay. okay. I'll, Don't let it happen again. It, it won't. I'm that's sorry. good. Thank you. Have a nice day. I was friends with Roy and Clint when they were nobody. I didn't pay the $20 membership fee. Now they won't even talk to me. Hey Mike, what's that noise? What is that? Sounds like music. I wonder what it is. Where's it coming from? Huh. Not here. Turn it down. Hey. What is that really cool music? Yawning. Oh. Hi. I'm Roy. And I'm Glenn. And we are Roy and Glenn. You know, Roy, that was a very interesting look at life in Kinko's and things about our life. And um, we really didn't get into how to pick up women yet. Can you maybe elaborate on that a little bit? <laughs> Why, yes I can, Glenn. See, we were filming in the Bahamas at the time and there was a big tornado. And uh, it sort of washed all the women, you know, off the island. And we were left with just Glenn and I because there was no room for our other counterparts, our egos being so large. And uh, so our next installment will be about women because there's just droves and droves of them lining up because, you know, they could make the first shoot. Funny story about the Bahamas though, as we were there, a young sailor washed ashore, 
and we named him Derek. And thus Derek became our little servant. Yes. Quite a good slave boy he turned out to be, too. But definitely our next installment will be dealing with women, more Kinko's co-worker stuff. But in the meantime, we're sure that you probably want to get a hold of us and become as great as we are. Therefore, we have our 1-900 number for you. And here it is. We can be reached at 1-900-ROY-GLENN. If you get a recording from the operator saying that this number is not in service, contact your local cable company. In case of contact with an individual by the name of Dane, just apologize, hang up, and try another number. Now, and also, we'd like to say that bumper stickers are on sale this week, $24. So that about wraps it up for today. We'll probably be with you at the next door meeting. So for me and Roy, I'm Glenn. And I'm Roy. And we are Roy, Roy and Glenn. Glenn.
Um, at this point, we'd like to tell you that you're not getting paid for the rest of this store meeting, and you're under no obligation to watch the rest of this videotape. Um, however, if you do not stay and watch the videotape, we know who you are and where you live, and we'll come after you. Um, Roy, bad accident happened today. You want to elaborate on a little bit? It was terrible. As you know, we were supposed to have women with us today. And I know you've all been waiting for it, but there's been a tragic accident. A plane has crashed and there's bodies everywhere. So the women have made it, but they're all splattered. We're very sorry. So you just get us today, me and Roy, inflating our large egos at you. So we hope you enjoy this segment of Roy and Glenn. Roy, we're going to discuss dreams today. You want to elaborate on dreams? Dreams are a wonderful thing. Working at Kinko's has highlighted my life. I dream every day and I have great and happy dreams. One such dream I was on the beach catching the rays, a little bit of sun here and there, sitting with Paul Orfala. We were both twisting skippies. It was a magical day, me and Paul in the sun. And this just leads us into our next sequence of events. It's dreams and how they affect our lives. So stay with us and follow along. to be the true lords of the store are truly mistaken and soon shall die. Glenn! Glenn! Yes, sir, Derek. Yes, Lick King Derek. my boot. Yes, yes, King Derek. Now. Thank you, King Derek. I said lick it. Get in there and get some of that. Yellow and please, hurry. Yes, yes, King Derek. Roy! <laughs> Down! <laughs> Glenn, you may now go and fix my car. Thank you. Be quick about it. Thank you, King Derek. <laughs> Roy! Entertain me, boy. <laughs> See, they are truly fools, and I am King Derek. Glenn, somebody's in your seat. It's Derek. What's he doing in my seat? She's sleeping. Derek, wake up. She's there. Derek. Derek. Get, Derek. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. What? What are you doing in this seat? I, I was just taking a nap. Don't you have socks to wash or something? Uh, yes, sir. Well, why don't you wash them? Your, your underwear too, sir? Get out of the seat! Sir, oh, I can't believe it. Illusions a ranger. You could give the man a blanket and he'd think he owns the world. Oh. Oh, you know what? Do you have anything to do right now? Not right now, sir, no. Please, just dispose of this, like, eat it or something. Can, can, can I just take it outside? Yeah, you can eat it outside, too. Uh, you really want me to eat this yeah. garbage? Yeah, it's filling up. We need to get rid of it. Don't look at it. It'll just take longer. Oh, okay. Just eat it. There you go. Good uh, work. What? It makes me hungry. Man, we almost had to get a new slave boy. Wow. Mm. Let's go eat steak. Mm. I'm hungry. Seriously. Come to me, dreams. For I am sleepy.
Time, they happen during the night time. I mean, depends when you're sleeping, depends when you're awake. So let's go into that right now and see if Kinko's runs during the daytime. Are you ready to come along with us? Kinko's your branch office. This is Roy speaking. Oh man, I did the wrong speak. Wow. Kinko's, it's an office. Roy is on the phone. I'm not supposed to answer the phone, so don't tell on me. Are you there? Hello? Kinko's. You, can, your new way to office, comma. This is Dash Out. Can I help you? Question, question mark. Hello. Hi. Uh. Kinko's my new orifice. Oh, gosh. I'm trying really hard. I can't get it right. Let me try it again. Kinko's your brand. No, that's the old one. Ooh, ooh. Kinko's your new way to orifice. Please don't tell my manager I answered the phone. Yeah, because I'm not allowed. But I'm Roy and I'm going to help you now.
Again, you're not getting paid to watch this, but you will out of the kindness of your heart. You will watch this for this simple reason today. We have a special surprise for you. For the first time on a Glenn and Roy video, we have women. Women. We do have women. Wait till you see this woman. She is gorgeous. She is beautiful. She will be on the cover of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit issue in 1996. It's amazing. And, I mean, she's been with us for, what, two days filming, and she's just... <sighs> she's been all over us. And, well, look at back. It's <gasps> just the way they are. So you're going to find out exactly who this person is. <sighs> Glenn, you know what? Mets suck. That's great. Oh, my God. Hmm. Oh, it's coming to the door, man. <whistles> Cha-ching! Oh, boy. I'm going to go wait on her. Ho, 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 ho. Here. Hey, I'll no, get I'll get it. Here. Uh, here. Do this. No, 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 I got it. Oh, oh, she's mine. 
Plenty of more of that to go around. Oh, hey, look at her legs, man. She's hot. Woo! She could be ours. Hey, 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 are you single? Yeah. Oh, yes, boys. I like you. Yes, you I like am. me? Single. I don't, you like me? Do you like me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She, I think she likes me. I think she likes me. I'll copy them. Making copies, I'm making copies. Hey, you look really, really fine in these. Thanks, Pookie Bear. Yeah, uh, and, and are these real? Well, yes, yes they are. Yeah, they look good. I'm gonna make you a pile over here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a pile for myself, because there's lots of good photos in here, and I gotta wallpaper my house pretty soon. That's fine. Hey, Roy, yeah. let, me, let me help you with these. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Look at those. Yoo-hoo, boys. She said, you who, Roy, get out of my way! <laughs> oh, here I come! <laughs> I like that. I like you and women. Very women women eyes. I like you a lot. Can I help you out? Can I have, we need your number. You, we need your name and number. I'll tell you what, boys. Here's something for you. Oh. Derek, hi, Derek. I'm, I'm, I'm Roy. And I like you. I like you a lot and stuff. Hey, Derica, I'm Glenn. Here's your copies. Thank you, boys. And I'll be looking forward to hearing from you. And you. <laughs> Bye, boys. Excuse me, Derica. You, yes, you Roy. forgot your photos. Thank you, Roy. Yeah. Bye now. Bye. Bye. I'll call you tomorrow for dinner. Yeah. I am going to barf. I can't believe the things I'm seeing in this place. Holy moly. Well, it's dark. It looks like a bathroom. Oh, my God. Hey, What's going on? There's a volleyball game in the bathroom. <laughs> what, what's going on? I'm getting ready to give some spanking stuff to my opponent. The car's all full of gas, and I'm gonna be dealing some spank! You're mine! Hi, I'm Biff, and no one's ever beaten the Hills Marauder before. Undefeated, six cylinders, perfect car. You watch out, man. Yeah, man! Well, there you have it, folks. Today's result from the complete and utter moron racing contest. Our winner today, Biff. Biff, what do you have to say about today's race? Yes, it was another great win for the Hills Marauder. My opponent was unworthy to compete with me. How were the wheels performing on your high-performance cart this, uh, tonight? The wheels were very, very groovy. Groovy. There you have it, folks. Words of wisdom from the winner. And today's second-place winner, or loser, if you will. Bob, Bob, what do you have to say about today's race? Uh, I lost today. Uh, huh. Yeah, I'm Bob. <laughs> well, folks, that's all you have from today's race. Oh, unfortunately, there was a third race. No, no, third my, racer today. My, 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 my wheels, my wheels, my wheels were on the cart. There you have it, folks. Words from a loser. And our third contestant today, he uh, suffered from an unfortunate accident. And let's see if he has any words to say. Nothing. Well, that's all for today's race, folks, and I hope you have an enjoyable evening. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. What again? Holy moly. Man, if Christian finds out this door's locked again, there's gold to pay. Oh, man, I gotta go.
bad. Check the man. Fish will be by it today. That got sh heck yet. Is this a good fishing hole, mister? I gotta go bad. Please, nobody be in here this time. Oh, man. Excuse me, sir. Oh, I got work to do. So, sir, how's your meal? Oh, very good. Very Are you good. enjoying it? Very much. Would you like any dessert? Some chocolate mousse, perhaps? Do you have any chocolate mousse? Not anymore. Oh, too bad. Oh, no, thanks, man. Okay, I'll bring you... Here's your check. If you need anything else, just let me know. Thanks. Hey, you guys are rocker guys, huh? Yeah, man. Yeah. This is our logo. Oh. We paid $300 to have this made. Oh, wow. What's, uh. what's the name of your band? Spank Boys. Can't you read, Monkey Boy? Oh. oh, wow. Are you guys, like, on tour? We <laughs> want a devil's head or something. Are you, like, skulls or anything like that? Yeah, and hurry up. We got a gig to promote. We got we got groupies waiting outside for us, man. Yeah. Do you, do you, guys, do you guys give spankings? <laughs> Just do the devil's head, yeah. Grim. Yeah, I can watch. <laughs> you like eyes on you, devil? Yeah, devil. three of I, them. I can do three eyes. Three, three eyes. eyes. Oh, wow. Uh, I, can I look at your guitar? Be careful with it, Grim. Oh, wow. Wow. But what do you think, man? Hey, can I try on your jacket? I like that. What's the charge on that? Uh, for Yins guys, it's free, because I like rocking guys. You All guys, right, Grim. Yeah. Maybe yeah. if you're lucky, I'll let you have one of my groupies after I'm done with her. Maybe yeah. I'll let you watch this wow. play. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah. You guys, I'm Roy. Hi, I'm, I'm Glenn. <sighs> you gotta just stay true to the metal. Yeah. Yeah, you guys rock. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>
Derek, put the stinking paper away and don't hurt your back again. Yeah, all right, I'll Jeez. be careful. I told you, oop, you yo-yo. Man, I gotta go. Oh, please don't be locked. Oh, oh. You don't want to come in here, man, trust me. You just don't want to come in here. Hey, Glenn, call the cannon. It won't be two by fours again. All right. Leave a message. This is Glenn from the Kinko store, and my coffee quality's really poor. The Zoomer's down in the keller, too, and we need the machines to get us through. We're in our binds, that's all I gotta say. And we need the jobs done due the next day. Thanks, and have a nice day. Somebody's always in the bathroom. Never go into the bathroom. All right, I'll put a dollar in and I'll raise you a dollar. All right, I'll match that. Dave, I'm out. <coughs> oh, there, Bear. <coughs> that smell? Ooh, that is nasty. Ew.
Okay, Derek, keep your eyes closed. I know it's been a bad winter and your car hasn't started, but we got a big surprise for you. All right, you ready? Hold on. and I thought free food was out the door, but hey, I'll go get me some fries now, see ya. You know what, it was a uh, it was a good hunting and fishing year for Chuck this year. Um, yeah, it was. I mean, he even taught Dave the finer skills of, you know, catching toilet fish. Fishing, yeah. Toilet fishing, toilet yes. What kind of thing? He still managed to hang on to Vicky, too. So have I. Oh! <laughs> Chuck won't be here at the party this time. <laughs> <laughs> That's no problem. <laughs> So what else happened this year, Roy? Well, it was Kinko's 25th anniversary this year. That's 25 years Kinko's has been in the business, and yes, we work for them, and it's been my four and a half or so years, so I haven't been around for all 25, but yeah, it's a if celebration. If you had, you'd be a dumb hippie. <laughs> <laughs> this is true, hippie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, even Clarence managed to improve his driving. He only hit two obstacles this year. Um, he's off to a bad start this year, however, for today, he just managed to hit a guard, well, I shouldn't say a guardrail, a big pile of snow and really messed up the bumper. Way to go, Clarence! Yeah, unfortunately, the two obstacles last year were two senior citizens, but, well, he's getting better. Yeah. yeah. Well, this year, uh, 
as you all know, Mike left the store and you know he was the employee that was here the longest and that was for over five years. I think he was also the employee that said wiener the most. <laughs> That's true. Okay. This is true. Or love sausage. Love sausage. Love sausage was another one. But with Mike going out, you know, things kind of stayed the same. We had an assistant manager that filled in for him. Lynette. Lynette Kula. 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 This is Kula. her last name. She's a great and diligent worker just like Mike and she doesn't say wiener her. that much though. No, no she, she doesn't say wiener that much and you know, <clears throat> she says other words like do your job. <laughs> yeah, so she has her ups and downs just like Mike. They're both great assistant managers. One leaves, it's great, and one comes in, it's great. So it's working out kind of nice. That's great. That's Another great. great thing about 95 is Roy and Glenn's ability to get his Booty's wings. Oh, yeah. Yes. And the better thing about Booty's wings and actually the taste of them is to piss Barry off when he has to clean up the wing sauce in the trash can the other night. <laughs> That's a riot. We managed Sorry. to kill off entire, entire chicken farms across the United States. They were killing chickens just to feed us. But hey, it was tasty. Speaking of chickens, <laughs> what do you have to say about your favorite musical taste of the year? Well, as we all know, Musician of the Year this year was claimed by Yanni. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> great, great, great musician. Uh, uh, yes, great musician. Mm. Um, this year, as you may have seen, if you were lucky. Wait, enough, wait, wait. What else did you use this year besides your right hand? Did you <laughs> anything else? Uh, I used a register this year. It was kind of neat. I had to learn the numbers, the letters. Out. There I was. It was 1995. It was a month. I'm not sure which. Did you go to training for this? I did go to training for this. Um, it was kind of cool. I was off one penny, and yeah, but I used the register. <laughs> yeah. Ah, nice little lull there. That was Glenn, what do you care to say anything about yourself for this year? Yes, I moved out of my house this year, and I moved into Kinko's. Really? Yes, I did. I happened to sleep here last night. Was that you I was feeling up on the morning? <laughs> I would be me. You have a nice act right here. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, we've gone rated X. I'm very sorry. <laughs> you can join. Can, no, you, can you bring your uh, black lawn jockey with you? So you can have some... <laughs> All of a sudden. <laughs> sorry, Clarence and Dion. Yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely. Um, Dion, or I mean, but right there. I, uh, wait. <laughs> Hello, this is white. You see that? <laughs> This is true. Um, I heard you, uh, you've been talking about religion this year. Yes, I've always talked a lot about religion. As everyone knows I always like a challenging conversation uh, about religion, except with Clarence. And uh, actually, two people tried to convert me to Christianity this year, uh, Clarence and Jill. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I enjoyed the in-depth conversation. Uh, I laughed, I cried. It was almost as good as cats, but it still didn't work. <laughs> you will be saved, Derek. He hasn't turned his cross upside, you know, the right way, the way it's supposed to go quite yet. Right. That would be right side up. Right, right side right side up. Thank you, Dave. You're welcome. He helped me with a word earlier this year, by the way. He's, <laughs> invaluable. He's, 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 yes, invaluable. It's spelled with an I, not an E. Or is it in Why is that saying yeah. and Roy got married to Barry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Roy married and Barry is one year anniversary. Sorry. I got married this year. And yes, Clarence, it still seems the same as though I was single. No changes, no differences. Harry had his one year anniversary this year. We all attended, at least all, uh, most of us didn't know, I don't know, I was there. <laughs> and it was cold. And stuff. Yeah. And Dave, why don't you talk a little bit about the remodel? Yeah, like, you know, we like have a new store on that, and it's been like in operation for about like, you know, about nine months or so, and uh, I think that's about it. And because is that why our done. profit sharing <laughs> checks really suck? <laughs> uh, <with> the remodel? <laughs> they, they suck bad. My last one was 12 cents. Mm. They wouldn't let me cash it. <laughs> well, yeah, moved to daylight this year, did you? Yeah, my eyes have finally adjusted. It's pretty bright out during the daylight. <laughs> I'm going to put the background music on <laughs> We were supposed to have background music for you during this 1995 review, and we just now turned it on, so you'll be hearing it in just a few seconds if the volume's correct. It's got a... kind of work. Nice and pleasant. Can you hear that? I can. Can you feel it? We can. <laughs> well, another year, 1995. It's been a few years in the coming, and Stinky and Dark Stinky have probably ventured into Kinko's. 
What is that smell? They must be here now. <laughs> they, they've ventured into Kinko's this past year for a, a record number of times. It's been at least 200 days they've been in here. I can still smell Kabasi, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Did you know that, that Terry Funk went up to Dark Sinky and asked him his name? Does what he have a name? He Dave Clark. Clark. Dave Clark. Dave, I, this is true. Dave, Dave Clark. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay, man. Dave Clark of the Dave Clark Five. <laughs> well, there certainly was a stir in the cinema world as Braveheart opened up in theaters in May. Have you seen Braveheart? I have. Nine times. How many times, Dave? Three times. Well, one time, and I've seen Power Rangers twice. Five times on Braveheart, kids. So get it when it comes out on video. March, it'll be out on video. Definitely buy it. Bug Barry, he can get you a discount. And you Cisco and Ebert give it a thumbs up. The bald and the fat pig. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the fat pig is bald. <laughs> The other guy's going bald, but the fat pig's bald. The other guy has a toupee. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I didn't want to say the F word, sorry. Yeah, yeah. it's not a good word to use during the Christmas season. Like fudge <laughs> and fun. So, Glenn, how many pages of comics did you draw this year? I drew a total of 10 pages of comics. Really? This year. Yes, I did. Wow, that's... Are you doing a comic book? I'm doing a comic book. <laughs> I didn't know that. In fact, we're doing it here at Kingo's. Wow. Amazing. I, I'll sign you a copy of it. Cool. Put it in plastic and save it, and it'll be worth lots of money one of these days. That's, that's a neat thing. I you can also wipe your ass with it, too. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, on the other side of the phone book is Phineas, Magician for Hire. Wow. And Barry can sign that for you, too. Cool. I would have two signatures from the premier artist in the comic book world. Now I'll use a toilet paper and something to blow my nose on. <laughs> that's toilet paper and tissue in one package. For probably oh, like two nine nine five. <laughs> well, what can I say? Edgeworth sucks. Somebody else sucks. Blows. Bitch. <laughs> oh. He didn't mean that. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're nice people. I should have said it. I love them. They love them. In fact, I invited them over to my dungeon to have a, a, a cup of holiday tea. <laughs> well, Matt, being that you're in charge here in this room right now while we're watching this and Kristen really isn't at this meeting, don't tell her you said that. It'll it's be not our a meeting, little, it's the party. It's the party. It's party. It'll be our little secret. Shh. Well, the 5100 ran like shite this year. There was probably 400 service calls on it. It sucks. I broke tray three today, by the way. Smooth. And of course, I get the last uh, smoothie of them all, the uh, job that was supposed to be uh, just rock craft and uh, not drilled. Uh, I guess that was blamed on me. Um, you know, Dave screwed up in a major way. Because, you know, I had the shift leader name on me. I was, you know, the shift leader. It, it cost my... Kinko's thousands. Dumb ass. ass. Dumb ass. Let's see, drill, <laughs> shrink wrap. <laughs> shrink wrap, drill. Hard, hard, think of it, drill. <laughs> so... That's your 1995 year in review, and it's been an eventful year, and we hope 1996 is the same way in that. Do you have any really. closing arguments? Because I'm sick and tired of doing your redos. I don't have any. Oh. All of a sudden, how come I got to have redos? You're a sore loser. I'm not a sore loser. The sun was in your eyes. It was in my eyes. 1996 will be another year of volleyball. Yeah, there's another thing. Volleyball, 1995. I want you to know I am undefeated. My team lost one time. You know what? That was... No, 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 no. Three. Three. I'm going to correct one. Number one. It was three. No, I was barely there. I, I was the there. The sun was in my eyes. You guys were cheating. And the ball was out. The ball was out of bounds. And you was suck. <laughs> no, I don't suck. Yeah, so. Yeah. 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 Toodaloo. See ya. The rhymes that you hear are the rhymes of Jarrell. But each and every year we bust Christmas carols. Hi, everybody. I'm going to be singing the 12 Days of Christmas for you. I hope you like it. On the first day of Christmas, Kinko's gave to me... The 12th day, Don. The 12th day of Christmas, Kinko's gave to me... 12 jobs for Barry. 11 extra free days paid vacation. 10 chicks of weighing. 9 magic cards. 8 hockey pucks. 7 comic books. Six, 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 sixes, five pentagrams, four butcher knives, three edgework jobs, two...
season and we hope you liked our holiday video. I'd like to extend a warm thanks to Len and Tina. Hi Len. Hi Tina. Hi guys. Thanks for having us over for the Christmas party. Yeah, it was it's been great. Roy, I, I got you a present for Christmas. Oh Glenn you shouldn't have I've gotten you one too. Oh geez. <laughs> Can I open it now? Sure. Oh great. Toast. 